We are entering an era of politics that no one has ever seen before, either whether they're living now or through the history books. It's called, say it is so, and it is so. We have a prime minister who stands up and says, my government is open and transparent. He says it year after year after year, and Canadians buy it. And it's anything but open and transparent. We have an inquiry now into the cavalcade, the protesters, the truckers on Parliament Hill. That's not going to decide anything about what the government did, whether it was right or wrong, whether it was legal or not, no cabinet confidences. There is an inquiry as to, according to the government, why this happened. Prime Minister has also said, we're going to plant two billion, two billion trees. Well, he hasn't planted any of those trees. We have a fight against climate change. Yeah, it's a fight. It's exactly the wrong fight. It's costing people their livelihoods. No one will stand up and say that isn't so because we have a society now that says, well, if it's so, you guys say so, and it will be true. Look at the charges of racism. A fellow by the name of Dundas, who was a big, big, big settler in Toronto, Dundas Street. Some people said, well, he was a racist. So the government spends six million dollars to get a bunch of bureaucrats to make a case that he was racist. They're going to decide whether to change the name of the street. It will cost hundreds of millions of dollars for the governments and the private sector to do so. And now the National Post has hired a distinguished historian who said that's all bunk. None of that was in fact true, but it may still go ahead. We've lost the name of Ryerson University to some nondescript name, Metro Toronto University, for the same reason. Politicians are standing up and saying that is the way it is, and we are believing it. In another article published in the Globe and Mail, Kevin Lynch, he was a former clerk of the Privy Council. He was a top bureaucrat in Canada. Smart, able man. It's entitled, Why Isn't Our Federal Government Working As It Should? And he goes on to a very, very erudite lesson as to why it isn't working. But his point is, people in the know know our government's not working. People in the know know that Canada is being diminished around the world. People in the know know that's not open and transparent. They know that it hasn't, quote, got your back, as the Prime Minister says. Our journalists across the country watch our Prime Minister stand up time and time and time again in the House or in public and say, in answer to any question, Prime Minister, is it nighttime out? We have your back. We are growing the middle class. And that's accepted. Canadians have voted him in time and time again. So it is something about the era of politics, of social policy, of the media, where people say, oh, if he said it, it must be so. We have to change that because in Canada, there are many, many people who know it's not so. They simply don't have voices. So think about it. Think about the smart people out there who are learning about politics. And perhaps we should all pay attention to what Plato said years ago. Those who do not get involved in politics pay the price of being led by those who are less than them. Thank you.